And once again here in heat number four, looking good. Tell you what, Smarzic's going to have to be careful. He really backed into uh, turns three and four there and almost left a big enough hole for Martin Vashing up the inside. Whoa! But he's not telling you what. Oh, I tell you what, Lingren left a huge hole. Can he get back up the inside with a cutback? I think he's going to. smarzlik has got all the speed again now, though. Fabulous speedway in heat number four. Swapping places for Farm for first and second. Bartosz Smarzlik. Just Smarzlik's read it straight away. Brilliant ride. Superb effort there. Well, everybody's had a ride now. And Bartosz Smarzlik looks like he's settled in quite well. Um, I think I may have understated that, but um, uh, it uh, was an eye-catching performance, no question about it, from the championship leader. The top two in the championship going head-to-head -head in heat number four, and they did not disappoint. Race of the afternoon so far. This afternoon, here we go then, heat number ten, what a lineup it is. Roar into the first corner and it's Wuffenden off the outside. Comes charging across doors there with him. Down the back straight for the first time. Neck and neck. Wuffenden just about steals the march on Doyle Beauty's back in third. Why do we see the inconsistencies within meetings from riders? The unbeaten Dan Beauty here missing out at the start. And here's the drag race down the inside. Jason Doyle, he's just been rounded by Ty Wuffenden who makes a brave move to come across and, and absolutely stop the run of Jason Doyle, which he had to do. And uh, he doesn't clear off. Jason Doyle keeps him honest, keeps him under pressure. And special looking lineup takes up now. Away we go. What a start from uh, Bewley, but it's Madsen who gets there. Bartos Smarslik cutting back to the inside. Oh. What a first corner from Smarslik, but Leon Madsen has responded superbly well. Fires himself to the front. So three points from two rides, nine points from four. Yeah, Brilliant stuff. We see there that uh, it's Bewley that makes a decent start, but Schmarzlik lifts when he drops the clutch, then the bike snakes, and then uh, it's Leon Madsen with all the speed down the straight, but uh, it was Bewley there, just collected a rut, moved much wider than he wanted to, of course, give Madsen a nice clear run around the corner, but Schmarzlik, he's looking rattled, he's looking a little bit unsettled. Of course, last time in uh, Molilla wasn't his best round. The big, big night. Here we go then. Heat 14 tapes up. Away they go. I tell you what, Freddie Lingwood's made a lovely start out of gate number two. Janowski's around the outside. Wuffenden back into third place. Here comes Janowski. Oh, big move. oh, lovely move down the back straight. But as a consequence of that, he's run very deep in turns three and four. But he's managed to hang on out in front. It's working well. It is, yeah, with Dudek on the inside of him, but uh, Ty Wolfen in there wasn't able to make the most of gate one, just bike didn't really go to the corner. Lingren moves across, leaves a big gap up the inside, and just as they get to the corner, I think Lingren's well aware that Janoski's carrying far too much speed. He's coming through, whatever happens. Moves out to the dirt, doesn't go any further than he really needs to, just keeps the bike flowing nicely, doesn't panic and turn it too hard, and that generates the speed to get himself in front. And, uh, yeah, doubles his score onto six points. That's... Vasilik in gate two, Freddie Lingren in gate uh, three, gate four for Martin Vasilik. Here we go, third time of asking. Oh, Lingren. Lingren out of the start. <laughs> what a start that is. No pink on his uh, hat. He doesn't care. Into second place comes Bartosz Smarzlik coming on oh. strong. Down the... Ooh! <laughs> Tight going into turn number three. Freddie Lingwin holding the inside line. Smarzlik around the outside. Vasilik back in third place. Smarzlik's got more speed. I will be surprised if he doesn't go straight past Freddie Lingwin. Look at that. Front, he's rarely slow. But uh, here, this is where Smarzlik's now winding it up. He's got a free rein around the outside. Lingren defending on the inside. Look how much more speed he has. Must have been a shock to Lingren to, just to see how quickly he came past him. Yeah, absolutely. So Bartosz Marslik with a dynamic move early in the final, which sealed the deal for him.